I'm architect Samia Kumar, principal architect OM Architecture. We at OM are quite particular about our design ideology, a conceived architectural typology, tropical pragmatic architecture. Light and ventilation are our primary guiding factors. While we let ourselves be fascinated by the old world charm, it is imperative that we be pragmatic when we design. Yesteryears, it was uh, very common to have elaborately carved interiors and uh, they had larger hallways when compared to smaller rooms. They had very small doors and windows. These are quite impractical to have in a design nowadays. The site is within a gated community, which is villas six feet apart from each other. We had the situation in the north and in the east. So the task at hand was to balance privacy, but at the same time enable the people inside uh, to have these beautiful views of the courtyard, of the garden and of the trees that are abetting this plot. From just being an aesthetic element, glass over the years has evolved or rather adapted through various compositions, textures and finishes to become an inevitable element in design. We have the coloured glass in Chetinad architecture, in the entry archways, in their uh, fenestrations. Glass is primarily used only as an aesthetic element. Now we have this stuffed laminated sandwich glass, which not only gives us a beautiful view because of its transparency, but also takes care of the safety. In the interior styling, we have the painted glass, which acts as a partition. We have the beveled and the fluted glass on our fenestrations. Since we've wanted a lot of natural daylight into our spaces, we have the whole of eastern wall as glass, but the issue is privacy. This was solved by using the contravision glass where the vision is only from inside to outside. Also we have the collapsible door that is leading us from the living to the courtyard. Over here we've used the toughen sandwich glass, which takes care of the security as well. The solid wooden staircase is from the SDRs, but without the extensively carved balustrade. The balustrade has been replaced by glass to make it more contemporary and minimalistic. We have the stone column base, which acts as the base of a very minimalistic coffee table top. The cane chairs that we've gotten from Sri Lanka, these are all very traditional. Uh, when you think that these two different kinds of styling will not go together, but if you see the space, it does. When done right, it does. My favourite would be this oil and canvas, uh, which was done using knife technique by Irwan Karnakaran. It was a commissioned painting of my favourite Meenakshi Amman temple. We also have this column, which is done in brass, embedded into the marble at the entry of a house. This column pattern is especially considered to be auspicious to have in a house. Since over here we had the challenge of limited space to play with, we had decided to go with an open plan. But when we have an open plan, we have to somehow demarcate the different spaces. So then we came up with this idea of level difference between the living and the dining, which was achieved by these steps that you see here. So we have a one and a half feet level difference between the living and the dining. On one side of the step, we have this antique refurbished uh, teak wood column that was fit to the scale of the space. On one side of the step, we have these vertical glass louvers that act as partition between the living and the dining. These are painted glass panels on column base and column capital. And beside that, we have a small sitting area, which is one of the outdoor seating areas that is normally seen in this part of the country. While we are still talking about interconnectivity, I would like to mention about my home office, which is in the first floor level. We have a small, beautifully carved wooden window over there. This window is styled in something called as an upparigai, which is a Chetinad balcony. So from that window, I have the vision into my children's study area and into the kitchen door. This is the master bathroom. Since only two people will be using this, the purpose of this partition is not uh, privacy, but it is rather to demarcate the bathing area from the water closet area. It is important to be site-specific when we design. 
Over here in this plot, to our advantage, we had large trees abetting our western side, which helped enormously to bring the heat down. Apart from that, we had to give this height to the space, which is about 14 feet. The height is given so that, you know, the hot air, which is normally lighter than the cold air, it rises up and stays there, keeping the low portion of the room quite cool. The space also remains cool because of the limestone flooring, which is an effective insulator. These beautiful memories had to be interwoven while I designed my house, as only then I could call it my very own.